Good morning. I'm putting you at a weird angle because I don't want you to see the street that I live on. Um, but it is Monday morning and I'm headed to the gym, to the new gym that I joined. If you um, watched a vlog a few weeks back, I was talking about switching gyms because I realised that there was a proper gym nearby rather than going to a leisure centre. And um, it's been great so far. Still a bit intimidating because if I was to describe this gym, I would say it's literally like a 70s, it's like it's from the 70s and it's like an underground, like literally it's underground and each room is really dirty and like the, the equipment looks like it's about 30 years old and it's full of very, very muscly men. But it does the job because it has everything that you need. The other gym that I went to didn't have a lot of equipment and the highest weights it went up to was like 30 kilograms. Yeah, it's been good and I have, if you're interested, because I figured I should probably vlog about these things a little bit more on this channel because I don't on my channel. I've been figuring out my training split because I'm just learning. It's, it's the sort of thing when you get into the gym and you get into resistance training, you have to figure it out for yourself. You know, you, you can watch other people and get inspiration, but you have to figure out what works for you. So that's what I've been doing. And I think I have got a split that's gonna work because I haven't been cycling as much or getting outside as much. And I want to incorporate that a bit more. So I've added that in and I'm gonna be doing a few less days of resistance training and um, strength training because it was making me very tired. So um, yeah. I'm gonna go to the gym now. Alex was in the bathroom when I left, so I'm sure he'll get back to you soon. But um, yeah, I'm excited for the gym. It's Monday morning, positive start to the day. Let's get on with it. Oh my God, I'm dying. I'm like dripping, well I was, I wiped my face, but I was like dripping in sweat. That was an intense workout. First time doing that workout. ready for my delicious smoothie and I forgot we hadn't been shopping so we haven't got any frozen fruit and also no ice cubes and no frozen bananas so and the bananas aren't even that ripe so it's not even that sweet <laughs> but Alex found protein powder that he bought years ago and not used he found it and so um it's, it's in date and I don't know if it was years ago but it's still in date don't worry um so yesterday and today I put protein powder in my smoothies because now I'm a gym person um I'm honestly just using it up and I guess I'm gonna see how it makes me feel and stuff and um maybe continue buying it protein powders I think that they're overused um and they should be treated like a supplement not like a staple in your diet just something to kind of help um to get protein in your diet. Mm. That actually tastes surprisingly good, but it'd be so much better with ice. Now I'm gonna jump in the shower because I am really, really sweaty. <laughs> oh 
okay, I'm all showered and fresh and Alex is showering. Um, I was gonna chat to you about my little workout. Little? It was not little. Um, <laughs> because I don't ever, I don't think we've talked about working out really on this channel. I have been like, I, if you don't have any idea, like I joined my uh, other gym that I was at when I first, like maybe December, when, near when we first moved here. And it was in a leisure center, so it was like a little gym. And I was following a program to learn how to strength train. And I will link that below because it was so helpful for me because I had not been to the gym in years because I was cycling and running. And uh, the last time I'd been at the gym was maybe at university when I had an eating disorder. And I think I'd gone to the gym on and off since then, but no, no, no period of time where I'd gone to the gym regularly. So the last time I'd gone, even back then, I didn't really strength train, I just did cardio so um, and used the machines. So I wanted to learn the basics because I'm the sort of person who has, I like to know everything and learn it. So um, I, I won't just do something blindly. So I've done loads of research and learned about it. And um, I followed that program for the 12 weeks, I think it was. And it was really great because it taught me how to resist, use resistance and train in that way. And... Um, all the basics so that's really helpful if you are new to it bodybuilding.com is like the best resource ever because it shows you every move every workout how to do it in the proper form and um, I'm still working on my form because there's still moves that I'm like today for example were new to me be easy on me if I, my form is terrible I'm still like trying but yeah and then I moved to this gym because as I said earlier it was better uh, it has more equipment it's more of a training gym rather than just like a little gym and a leisure center and for like the, what I want to do, it just has more variety, more cardio machines, everything. And so yeah, I kind of, when I was doing that other program, I was doing strength training like every single day and like a different type of it. And I have changed that now. Um, so, well, I, this is the first week I'm gonna be trying it. So I'm gonna be doing like legs on a Monday and then some kind of outdoor cardio or if it's raining or it's terrible, I'll do it inside. But like something like cycling or running because I do miss doing those things. And then Wednesday arms and then uh, Thursday do some kind of cycling or running again. Friday try and go to a class because they have hit classes and boxing classes. I'm gonna try and do something like that. And then Saturday I have a rest day and maybe um, just do some stretching and then Sunday do like a full body workout. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do and try and see if it works and I'm probably gonna change it because um, I don't know, I might adapt it, but that makes sense to me right now uh, for what I'm doing. So when I was doing legs a few times a week, uh, I was just getting really exhausted and I think it's just a bit too much. So yes, that's what I'm doing. And Alex hopefully, or I'll, I'll tell Alex what I did and I can write it up on the screen. I'm not an expert, I'm a total beginner and I'm, but then I always think that I like sharing these things, even if I am a beginner, because like, why not? Most people are beginners, I think. Well, a lot of people are beginners. So if like, I think it's helpful to show what a beginner's doing and show how you do it. I did it with minimalism. I did it with other things on my channel. So um, I know this is my vlog channel, but yeah. And um, I'm already noticing how much stronger I'm feeling, how much fitter I am. It feels great. The main reason, the main change for me since going to the gym is it, I, I, my approach to it is so different. I'm not doing it for a weight loss goal or a uh, body goal. I'm doing it because I want to get stronger and I want to get fitter because I miss that about myself because I kind of wasn't caring as much about being as fit um, towards the end of the last year. And I have always been an athletic, sporty person. So I love that feeling and I'm kind of trying to get back to when I was younger and I did sport and really enjoyed it in that way. And it's it's great to feel fitter and everything's getting easier. Oh, it just feels so good for my mental health. Every day going to the gym, it's a time to just take care of me and be by myself, do something that makes me feel good. And like, it's, it's just the, it's the best way to start my day. So it's been amazing. I'm already noticing that I'm getting kind of Muscly arms. <laughs> I also did uh, the Stairmaster after that, and the Stairmaster, I've never used one before because no gym I've ever been to has had one, and this gym has it. And oh my God, you do 10 minutes of Stairmaster and you're literally dripping with sweat. I was so sweaty. Oh my gosh, it was intense, but um, I love that feeling. I do enjoy cardio. I know loads of people hate cardio, but I really love cardio. Um, I find it really fun. 
So yeah, do what you find fun and that will keep you going. That will keep you motivated. I'm not, since changing my perspective on working out, I don't need to motivate myself. It's really weird. I'm sure it'll wear off. I'm sure I'll get bored at some point um, because I'm still new to it all. But um, at the minute, I'm not needing motivation because it just, I get so much enjoyment from it. There's no stress involved. It's just really fun. So yes, I've rambled. So this is going to be a video all about my workout. Now I'm going to get back to work. And um, in our mornings, what we do normally is we sit down on a Monday, we sit down and do a like, weekly meeting to talk about what we're doing that week because we work together. So um, I'm waiting for Alex to get out of the shower because Alex is always late for this meeting. And then we'll get started with our day. What time do you call this? Right on time, baby. So I go to the gym, shower, and I'm ready before you are. So I go out for a walk. Do the washing, do the hoovering, shower, and I'm ready just after you are. So we've had a pretty long meeting. That was two hours. Oh, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> it's good this though. every Monday, doesn't it? It's really good yeah. though. It's so, it's like my favorite day of the week because it, I feel so refreshed. And we've got loads organized now. We did a, we sort of been double the length because we had a bit of a money meeting, didn't we? Because mm. we're yeah, meeting with an accountant tomorrow. It's a big week. Yes. Uh, and now, and now I can just relax. <laughs> relax editing. Mm. Yay. Are we, are we going shopping first? No. No. Although, do we have anything to eat? No. Okay, maybe we'll have to go shopping first. Do you reckon Tesco will have oomph? No. No? I don't think it will. Isn't Sunday when they do all the deliveries? I hope so. <laughs> oh, I feel so good. If you um, work with your partner or if you work alone, I highly advise you have a Monday meeting, even just with yourself, uh, because it's very, very productive because you feel fresh for the week, you feel excited for the week, you get everything organised and I used to kind of feel like I had to get straight into work because if I didn't get straight into work I wouldn't get it done, but then all it means is that your week is a bit disorganised and you probably waste time, but put it, putting time aside to organise your week, write everything down, plan it, you may think, like right now I've used up my whole morning doing this, but it's it means that the rest of the week will be really productive. So um, highly advise you spending your Monday mornings organizing, planning ahead, innovating, thinking about ways to make your business better. And then um, the whole rest of the week just flows a lot smoother, so. Yeah, like we could do it at your office, you could do yeah. it Sunday night. Yeah. And I know that if I'd done that when I was working, I'd have felt much more, you know what you're doing for the week. So if you work in an office and you're trying to improve your, um, work I don't know if you're trying to I don't know what you, what, what, you know what I mean if you're trying to get promoted if you're trying to get noticed maybe have Monday meetings with yourself um I don't know how it would work in your office but I guess some businesses will probably have Monday meetings anyway but yeah I'm blabbing blabby blab blabby blab something's gone wrong here I can't get the SD card to go I know I happened this morning I took it out and then tried to put another I took one out because it was it was full which one 64 gig one and I tried to put another one in, and then it wouldn't go in. I got it! Yay! There's the culprit. Look at what happened. That's like the ends, like, come off. You know when you put an SD card in and out of a camera for years? Yeah, it's quite a little memory card. Just gonna, yeah, it's all beaten up. Woohoo! Yummy. Turns out we don't this, need to go shopping just this yet. This is my most satisfying meal when um, you think you have nothing but you use what you have. Like, we've gone, like, the whole weekend. When did we last go shopping? I don't remember. And we, yeah, we, like, didn't have any food. We cleaned up the fridge. Like, look how empty the fridge is. Like, this is not normal for us. Oh, so clean. So empty. And we were just about to go to the shops. And then I was like, no, let's use what we have. And we managed to make, like, it's like, well, we had some mushrooms and peppers, and then we had a tin of beans and then we had a little bit of passata it does smell good half a thing of jerk seasoning so you think you have no food but you do like we look at all this food we had an avocado we had leftover rice just because we didn't have exactly what we would have probably liked to have yeah we've managed to get another meal i always think this is the best way to save money if you're trying to save money look at what you have in your cupboards and try and have a pantry challenge for a week <laughs> you eat everything in the pantry and maybe just buy a few fresh vegetables mm. it's a good idea yeah we had a really Pleasing weekend of like cleaning, cleaning. Like I cleaned the whole fridge out. It was really pleasing because, yeah, you know when salad gets all like Green turns gross. to mush at the bottom of the fridge. And look at this. How excited are you, Maddie? Very. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like a new bike. Like we cleaned it and we've got new 
tape, if you remember, it was white and really gross. It had like oil marks and dirt on it. And I did Maddie's too, because they were falling apart. Oh, I'm so excited. Bike ride tomorrow? Bike ride tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like, ah, oh, it's like riding a new bike. It's gonna be so good. I bought that black tape for you, Maddie, in Canada. Oh my God. So that, I've had that for nearly a year. I've had that blue bar tape for at least a year. Do you appreciate that you're going out with such a handy man? I do actually, you're very handy. Do you appreciate that you're going out with such a good cook? No. Because I can cook, but you can't be handy. I can be handy. I just, we fit into our roles. I mean, and it's annoying that those roles oh. are stereotypical <laughs> sexist roles, but... Hey, I like washing up. Even if it was the other way around, um, it'd be good. But I always think it's good in a relationship to figure out what you're good at, and then you can help each other. Because I'm not the best, I'm not naturally like a handy person who'll fix it. I'm more the sort of person who'll be like- break it. I don't know, I'll put it off. And you're not naturally the sort of person who'd like go to town with cooking, aren't you? So, no. it's good, really. good balance. There's always, there's always little things you have, each person has. This looks go so good for like a leftover- Stuff we found in the stuff cupboard. Stuff we found in the fridge and cupboard <laughs> meal. What's that? Your rice is steaming. That's your rice. Ooh. How many wraps do you want? Do you want them heated up? Uh, Any wraps? Yeah, heat them up. Go. Did you say two or three? Two. Okay, that's good. really great development of today the lunch that you saw us eating had wheat in it the sausages had wheat in it i'm so used to eating those linda mccartney sausages that i totally forgot to even look at the packaging and if you haven't been following along because i think i mentioned it in a vlog the other day and everyone was like wait why aren't you eating gluten um i did do an instagram story but um i've just been having issues with it recently out of the blue and i went to the doctor i'm not celiac but every time I eat it, I, right, like right now, I have a sick feeling in my stomach and that first starts, it's kind of like a nauseous feeling, but also an uncomfortable feeling, kind of like there's something going on in there. I get a bit of a headache. I feel a bit head rushy. And also I can't concentrate. I noticed it cause I was really distracted. I was trying to work and I was going on YouTube and I was, I came and sat on the sofa and I just couldn't concentrate and I started to feel quite tired. And I also start burping, I get gassy and like heartburny and just, yeah, that's really great. And the worst thing is these are the symptoms today and then the next day I often break out in spots and I feel even worse to the point where I have to get, in, get into bed. So, great, can't wait for that. I've taken a probiotic and I know that there was another pill that the doctor said I could go get a prescription for but I've forgotten it. It's really horrible feeling because I just feel really, really sick and I feel like I can't do work properly. It feels like my head is in a haze. Yeah. And I feel like I look a bit ill. I don't know if that's <laughs> me. Yeah, you do look quite pale on camera. I look really pale. Yeah. You know how this morning I explained my split? I was like trying to research further about it because I just find it really interesting. Your split? My training split. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the workouts I'm going to do. I knew, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to change it again. And I think I am because I was going to do legs, arms, and then a full body. But then it makes no sense to do that. It, it makes more sense to do push-pull legs or legs push-pull. Um, because I've seen loads of other people do that. And that makes more sense because why would I do a full body and then try and cram arms all in one day? It'd be more sensible to do push exercises and pull exercises on separate days. So that's what I'm gonna do instead. And I'm like what, on built bodybuilding.com and loads of other websites and stuff trying to figure out, and I'm writing it all down on my phone. So I'm trying to write down all the different workouts there are. So for example, I've got a little page that is called, can you see this? It's called push and I'm like listing all the exercises and the same for pull, I'm like listing out all the exercises there are. So I can kind of like, each day I go into the gym, kind of decide what I want. And it also did, this was something I did ages ago. I had upper body exercises and I put like compound exercises and how many reps to do. And then the accessory exercises. So I had everything kind of written out all in one place so I can pick and choose. It's definitely something I recommend you do so that you learn it. And then also you have it all written out. Cause if you're a beginner like me and you want to learn, it's good to kind of understand yourself rather than just 
kind of finding an exercise online, not really knowing why you're doing what you're doing. So yeah, and I've also got one for legs where it has the compound exercises and then the accessory one. So if you, I'm sure lots of you do this anyway, but like if you don't know, a compound exercise is, is something that will use multiple, m multiple muscle groups so they're the ones you want to focus on something like squats or deadlifts they'll like use a lot of different muscles to do the exercise and then an accessory movement will just target one in particular if you for example if you really want to work on your glutes or something or if you really want to work on your triceps then you have accessory movements to do that so yes i'm not an expert i'm trying to i'm like spouting all this information but i'm you know i'm learning all this myself so i figured that's the most attention i can give to something today I, i've done most of my work because it's like four o'clock now and i was gonna declutter that cupboard i can't bring myself to do it anymore i feel like cold and shaky and horrible and i was the, the worst part about this glue the worst part about this gluten thing is that you're supposed to go off of it for a month to get rid of all the gluten in your system so that then you can do an elimination diet to try and find out what types of gluten is affecting you. So if it's just bread or if it's just pasta or just to kind of ref refresh your body and then you can do an elimination diet. And I haven't been able to do that because I keep on accidentally eating gluten. It keeps on happening. It's really, really hard to avoid. And we went out in London this weekend and I accidentally had it. Luckily it didn't make me sick because I think it was a teeny tiny amount, but yeah. oh my God, I thought if I was at home. And I even said to Alex, I said, oh, should we have soy mints? And then he was like, nah, let's have the sausages. And I should have had the soy mints. It's all your fault. I didn't say that. You did? You said, let's have the, let's save the soy mints. Um. It was you. <laughs> you always blame me. I thought it was you. Like, I said, do you want soy mints or sausages? And you said I mean, sausages. I was about to say, yes, let's have the soy mints. But... Did you just fart? Yes. Oh my God, that stinks. Alex. Let's try and end the vlog. We'll try and end the vlog here because I feel like I've chatted a lot and I've chatted a lot about working out. We're going to have a, we've got a busy, so I'll busy leave, work day ahead of us. I'll leave all, I'll get Alex to put all the links that I was talking about in the description and any helpful websites. If any of you are like looking to start strength training or um, working out, then I'll leave a link and kind of, and maybe I'll even write up the split that I'm going to be doing from now on because we can be beginners together beginners to all of this type of thing and do it oh, together and itchy nose because it's pretty fun Me. i'm trying to get alex to do it but he won't i might do i've just done my bike bar tape because it's so much be fun cycling. because alex is like oh, i want to cycle and it's like yeah i'm gonna be cycling too because on my week in between days at the gym i want to go on bike rides and go on runs and stuff because i like that just yeah. as much and the gym is way more affordable. It'd be really the fun. Gym, I'm editing the footage from this morning. Doesn't it look good? And the gym looks quite nice. It is good. And it's less than half the price and it's, of the other one. So. It's so fun. Like, it's honestly so... It's like the funnest part of my day. I love it. I do. Actually, it's, the funnest part of my day is when you're away as well. No, but you know when you go on a bike ride, it's like the funnest thing. Yeah. It's like you just you feel like a kid again. Not that lifting weights makes me feel like a kid, but like it gives you the kind of fun enjoyment. Something... Endorphins. Something chemically in your brain. Endorphins. Yeah, yeah it's adrenaline and all that. Adrenaline, feeling strong. Drugs. Setting a goal and achieving a goal mm. of getting stronger. Like it's quite satisfying getting stronger. But anyway, um But anyway. I'm not this don't worry, this channel's not gonna become a workout channel. <laughs> just we're just doing one video talking about it because I thought it'd be interesting. I'm channeling naturally Stephanie in my <laughs> edit. <laughs> Alex is like currently editing it. Yeah. As he's doing just it. Just get ahead of the game because we've got a busy day tomorrow. I remember when I used to watch Naturally Stephanie at the beginning and she sees really intense like, uh, like, oh, dance, like dance music. Yeah. It's and hard it, to find music like like for that kind of video that isn't yeah. just like dubstep. Like, yeah, yeah. And it'd be like, you'd be watching the vlog and it, she'd just be like chatting in her really like lovely Scottish <laughs> accent. <laughs> And um, and then suddenly we lost like full on like da dance music. I'm off to the gym. <laughs> I love her accent. <sighs> anyway, goodbye, viewers. Tell us in the comments down below what your training split is, or if you don't exercise, um, why you don't, why you don't like exercise, or if you want to get into it, um, or if you don't have a training split at all, you just kind of like cycle or run or whatever. Let us know. Bye. Bye.